It's an astounding feat, a single blood test that's able to detect multiple types of cancer in people who seem perfectly healthy. Some biotech companies now say they've done it. Chills down my spine, honestly. I got so excited about these, these data. The gallery test was used to screen roughly 6,600 people age 50 and older. The U.S. company behind it, Grail, says its own study flagged 92 potential cancers. If you catch cancers early, curative intent therapy is much more likely to work among those patients. Early detection could truly speed up treatment, but false positives remain a major issue. While the gallery test flagged 92 people, further scans and biopsies, which must be done in hospitals, revealed some had cancer, but most did not. It's too early to decide if the gallery test is good enough. Dr. Eleftherios Diamandis has been studying these blood tests for over 30 years. He says they look for bits of DNA shed by the cancer. Genetic data can also indicate where the disease might be in the body, but the tests don't catch all cancers. My advice is to be patient. Do not rush into testing. I think the key thing is for people to be aware of the risks. Doctors note some cancers never become life-threatening. Early detection can lead to unnecessary or painful testing and treatments, including chemotherapy. And the tests aren't approved by Health Canada yet. They need to be evaluated in a rigorous way where we know exactly what the benefits or the harms are. A rigorous clinical trial is now underway in Britain. The U.S. also has plans to study the effectiveness of these tests and whether they improve survival rates. Results are likely years away, but many are hoping blood tests for cancer will ultimately deliver on their promise. Christine Virak, CBC News, Toronto.